The Caulfield Melbourne Cup double when he came from third last at the 1,000 to nail Kingston Town by a neck in this afternoon's Melbourne Cup. Gurners Lane's rider, Mick Dittman, was suspended for one month for causing interference to Port Carling and Neville Voigt, who rode Bianco Lady, was also outed for one month. Justin Ash was sensationally back from 10 to 1 into 11 to 2 to start favourite. He finished only 16th. Last of all was Gala Mascot. Here now is the replay of the 1982 Melbourne Cup. Starters on the platform. Light is on. And they're racing in the Melbourne Cup. Noble comment away quickly. Port Carling into stride fast too, and Kingston Town was well served. The barrier rise with Bianco Lady and Ali Bizu, Mr. Digby dropping in behind them. Gala Mascot going fast with Caring Bush over on the outside. Rose and Thistle dropping in behind them along with Silver Bounty. And they're followed by Astral in Brewery Boy out wider on the track. Triumphal March is trying to get a position early. Gurners Lane well back along the inside rail with Dealer's Choice. Mice are even second last with Toha. As they race past the 400 the first time, now it's a line of about five. Noble comment, Gala Mascot, Caring Bush going up and along the outside then came Brewery Boy. Rose and Thistle just behind those horses, followed then by Port Carling and Ali Bijou. Then came Astralin pulling hard from Bianco Lady, a length and a half to Just a Dash and Dry Wine. They're followed by Wellington Note and the neck away on the outside, then came Triumphal March, followed by Mr Digby pulling hard and then Amarant and Silver Bounty. One length to Gurners Lane and Barmax Magistrate and they're followed by My Raven, Dealer's Choice and last of all is Toha. At the turn out of the straight, 2,200 to go. And uh, going to the lead here is Brewery Boy by a length and a half to Noble Comment and one to Caring Bush. On the rails then came uh, Kingston Town, followed by Gala Mascot, Bianco Lady got checked. Then came Rose and Thistle three wide, followed by Port Carling, Ale Bijou. Further back in the field, Justin Ash pulling his way up towards the leaders from Astralin and Dry Wine and then Bianco Lady. Triumphal March trapped about five wide from Wellington Road, a length and a half to Amarant and Mr Digby and there followed then by Silver Bounty. A length and a half to Gurners Lane on the inside of Magistrate and Barmax. One length further back is My Raven Dealer's Choice and two lengths to Toha last of all. They've completed half the journey, 1,600 to go. And still in front here is Brewery Boy, tackled by Caring Bush has gone up to take over the running. A length further back is Noble Comment, a length and a half then to Triumphal March and Kingston Town still on the rails. Then came Gala Mascot from Port Carling, Rose and Thistle wide around the outside of L.A. Bijou. Then came Wellington Road about three wide, followed by Bianco Lady and Astralina. A length and a half further back is Dry Wine from Amarant and they're being followed by Silver Bounty, Mr. Digby Magistrate. Well back is Barmax and company with Gurners Lane and they're followed by My Saravon, Dealer's Choice and Toha last of all thousand to go in the cup and here the leader still brewery boy about a neck in front from carrying bush one and a half to noble comedy's had a nice run triumphal march has got to fourth now kingston towns off the rails then port carling back on the inside followed by la bazoo rose and thistles going up around the outside bianco ladies hard up on the inside rail Gurners Lane is improving and they're being followed further back by Dry Wine. My Sir Ravens winding up out wide. At the top of the straight in Kingston Town, Hanging has gone up on the outside with Triumphal March and Noble Comet. They turn together, followed by Astralin. Further back in the field then came Al Bajou starting to push through. Port Carling from a long way back and then My Sir Avon, 300 to go. Kingston Town has gone to the lead now from Noble Comet and they've kicked away from Triumphal March. My Sir Avon finishing well down the outside, but the town's clear at the 200. Noble Comet's coming again and Gurners Lane getting going on the inside with Port Carling. Kingston Town in front. Gurners Lane's coming at him. Gurners Lane's grabbed the lead and Gurners Lane's won the cup ahead to Kingston Town. Two to Noble Comet third and then by Sir Avon Bianco Lady Wellington Road. They were followed by L.A. Bazoo and further back was Port Carling Amarant Astralin. They were followed in by Barmax Dealer's Choice and then Silver Bounty Toha. Then came Caring Bush, followed by Triumphal March, Dry Wine, Just a Dash, well back. Next in Magistrate, Rose and Thistle, Brewery Boy, Mr Digby and Gala Mascot pulled up just after the line. And Jeff Murphy revealed after the running of the Cup that Gurners Lane could have been a scratching as late as this morning. Uh, he was found to have filling in a foreleg, was taken to the beach to swim, recovered well enough and that's what he did to the field. To the feature doubles now, there was two of them on the Caulfield and Melbourne Cup double, and the first one for 58 and 50, $110.65, and the second feature double, 6 and 28, $73.30. Now to the rest of the program, and there were four favourites successful. In the first, Junior's Boy was sent out favourite, unbeaten over hurdles. Here's the second last, Junior's Boy comes to it.